Yo, this is Art the Architect with More Than a Haircut Podcast. Tune in every Friday for new content. Definitely on Anchor as well as YouTube and on IG. Hit your boy up. It's More Than a Haircut. Um, the if, if I can quote is, let me tell you why um, I stopped using savings accounts and started in buying bank stocks. Um, that's, and, that's your book, man. And look, no, no, that, it did sound like a book title when I, when, now that I think about it. But it is. where I got that from, I mean, this came from years ago. Like, so uh, if, if we kind of do a rewind, I've been in a, in a financial industry, whether it's internship, first job out of college, mm-hmm. my own business, somehow, some way, been involved in the financial industry at this point for about 11, 12 years, okay. somewhere around in there. And throughout the whole time, I personally, especially early on, I personally fought with, with uh, credit cards okay. and just trying to manage them and keep a healthy credit score. That was a struggle for me early on, especially uh-huh. right out of school. And a lot of people really wouldn't like think that now because it's like, oh, Rob knows everything financial. But I mean, there was a point where I didn't. And yep. so early on, I, I had my own personal struggle. Even though I studied this stuff in college, like my major in this and everything, there still was a gap on, on my personal financial matters. I know everything in the book and can go work for somebody else, but I hadn't perfected it in my own life. Yes. And one of the things that, that annoyed me the most was that I would look at the interest that you would get on the money in your savings account yeah. and it would be like pennies, like it wouldn't even be a dollar, right? Yeah. And then I look and in just one month, I might have like a maintenance fee on my account that's five dollars. So immediately in one month, not even a whole year of getting a dollar worth of interest, but in one month, my money being in a savings account was it was it was decreasing rather than increasing yeah. simply from a monthly fee. Yeah. And and I thought to myself, like, hold on, like, why am I sitting here tripping over 0.03 in interest trying to get that on my money? When y'all actually bleeding me dry with monthly maintenance fees and all these things that were attached to the account, and I won't even say the bank's name, but uh-huh. I, 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 so no, no, so we're gonna, we're gonna go there. It was Bank of America, right? So Bank of America, right? And I'm like, yo, this is really crazy to me. And mind you, I'm in the financial services industry too. I work in this in this world, and so I started thinking to myself, like, man, there's got to be a better way. Like, this don't make any sense. Like. Why does every why do they always tell us to use savings accounts when your money is really not growing and they're just kind of chipping away at it while it's sitting there? And I just was like thinking, thinking, thinking. And then I got to a point where I got, I was like, all right, I gotta figure out a way around this. And start I started digging. This was like 2013, 2014 time frame. Okay. I was like, man, how can I get the best out of having a bank and like and working with a bank when I feel like it's either ATM fee? Or monthly maintenance fee, like y'all just chipping at my money all the time. Then I'm not like to add, like the, you loaning my money out on top of that, and you making and you making money. you making money on my money that's just sitting there, right? So I'm like, yo, I gotta figure this out. So finally, somebody put I can't remember the person, and, and God bless them because I can't even remember right now. But somebody at some point told me about dividends, right? Just told me the word dividend. Mm-hmm. Now you would think somebody that's uh, in economic research, super high level job in the financial world that I would have ne- at that point known what dividends were and why they were so important, but I didn't. And so I, I quickly learned that there were companies out there that we either bank with, shop at, whatever, all day, every day, that pay us that, or that can pay you a, a dividend, a, a, a small portion of money for every single share of a stock that you own. They will pay you on time, every time, mm-hmm. um, just for owning their stock and, and investing in their company. Mm-hmm. But when I learned this, I'm like, what? Like, what's the catch? Like, this this can't be, this can't be real. Like, you just, they just gonna pay you just for owning the stock? Like, you don't gotta do nothing else? And the light bulb went off, and because I thought about like, well, what happens if I buy Bank of America stock instead of the just using their products? Let me invest in a company. Mm. And, and if I invest in a the company, they're going to pay me to do that. Yeah. If I 
basic quote unquote buy their product. And I know we don't think about a bank account as a product, but it is a product. If I consume their product, they're going to slowly take money away from me. But if I invest in their company, they're going to slowly give me money. Yeah. And once that That's light bulb went off, yeah. I started doing that. And I just did that for me personally. And I would like tell people that, but I don't think I was communicating it effectively because other people's light bulb wasn't going off yeah. until over the last couple of years. And I realized this is actually, now that I've been doing this a couple of years, this is the best thing you could be doing. And I'm the living proof now. It wasn't just a theory before I've lived it. And so I said, let me bring this back up because now more than ever, everybody's trying to figure out how can I create some extra streams of income, make my money work for me. And one of the ways you could do that, instead of putting your money in their savings account, just buy their shares that are going to pay you a dividend. Yeah. And that's, you yeah. know that bank is never going to go out of business because they're never going to let that bank fail, and you know your dividends is going to come in like clockwork. And that's that you know, like when you said the um, like you 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 basically putting money in there, it's almost like a subscription service. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you buy, but I learned that dividend talk through like AT and T. Right, right. It, that's another good one. Like how I how I kind of like learn the dividends and learn the stock was. I own an iPhone. Why not own Apple stock? I pay AT and T every damn month. Let me own AT. Y'all gotta pay me some back at least, right. so if I can get to a point where you paying me back the same money that I'm putting out. It only it only makes sense to me like going forward. And then once once I do my research and my study, and I'm like, hmm, my AT and T on HBO. Well, damn. Why y'all talking about what y'all watching on TV? Because I don't watch TV. Come on, Brady. Run me that check. Come on. 